Good afternoon, Arnie.net live. You know who we got? Todd Butterfield, uh, LearnCrypto.io and Wyckoff SMI. Um, I love those uh, indicators you have, Todd. So talk to me a little bit. The markets last year were pretty much getting beat up for some uh, external reasons, maybe some tax law selling, but it seems we've had a, a turn here. Am I right? I mean, this week's been a, an interesting. We have had a turn up. I mean, my indicators, I had mentioned uh, in my week in review that we would get overbought this week. We uh, did get overbought on my SPY today. So I do think we could stop here and sideways to lower. And uh, I'd mentioned last week and I'd had it on Twitter, social media, I had a buy on Ethereum at 1189 or at 1417. Still along that position. Okay. I want to sell it here uh, on a pop maybe today or over the weekend. But I can show those charts here in a minute if you'd like. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you were the first one to call it out there. I mean, you said that crypto is about to make the move. You are, you are dead right. Um, 16,500 here to 19,400. Uh, you are more than right, I would say. <laughs> I mean, it seems that, you know, we just sold everybody out. I mean, we had horrible news down there with all the bankruptcies and fraud. And so I think we're just, you know, sold out. Uh, not a lot of resistance on the way up. So I'm really anxious to see this next pullback. I don't have a strong sell on Bitcoin or Ethereum today on my technometer. 50 is kind of a sell. We're about 47 and a half. Okay. So maybe we could work higher into the weekend. It looks like stocks will close halfway decent here. So uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm anxious to see the next buy signal. Now, are you pull, did you pull any off on that, uh, this run here? Or, or are you just staying completely along your whole position? I'm still along at the moment. Okay. Pull off I a little bit of stocks. I had mentioned last week I was on TLT. I got out of that, I believe, Monday. Okay. I made about 5% in uh, 10 days or so. TLT looks a little bit lower. Again, stocks, I think, will roll over a little bit here. The next buy signal, I think, will be important, whether we can hold these higher levels. I know everyone's talking about volume, breadth, thrust, 10 day. I don't really follow that, but I know what that means. I mean, it looks like kind of a a lift off for another bull market. So uh, that's going to get a lot of press here the next few days, I'm sure. And we'll see uh, see how we act on the next pullback. Yeah. And you think all these meme stocks that everybody's been going crazy on, that's pulling a little bit of the volume out of the normal regular stocks, wouldn't you say? Right. Oh, definitely. For sure. Yeah. All right. Let's get to it. What uh, you do the best, those charts, man. Let me show the SPY chart here. Again, I have the uh, red dot showing a overbought technometer today. It's uh, reading above 50. Yep. Last two times we had those, it caught the highs exactly. Didn't get a strong buy that I wanted. I mentioned I was looking for a low here a couple of weeks ago. Didn't really get an oversold technometer. But again, we've got the overbought. Let's look for some type of pullback. Uh, I mentioned a few stocks last week. Iridium, that's one I mentioned a few times. Yes, that of course. Higher. Yep. Uh, I posted on Twitter also a bunch of uh, Wyckoff markings on a lot of these stocks. So this one here, really in the middle of markup now, trading above 62. Again, I might pull some of that off here uh, today or tomorrow. I'm not sure. Today or Monday. And uh, Iridium uh, getting that good news from uh, Qualcomm that they're going to be partnering for a new chipset uh, to satellite uh, for, the, for Apple and for Android, right? Right. Yep. That one just... Has been unbelievably well. I had five buy signals here on the green oversold. Had a uh, backup to previous resistance that had jumped. That's kind of classic Wyckoff. Uh, Ulta's still been doing well. Tractor Supply. AEHR is one that... Did, uh, did you just say Ulta there? Uh, Ulta. Now, I'm I'm short Ulta Beauty here. Yeah, that's, I mean, so it could take a breather somewhere here, but... Uh, okay. I'm still acts pretty well. This is AEHR, I mentioned, came into earnings down there, 1750, right back to new highs at 30. That's a smaller cap semi, but uh, definitely higher risk. But that one looks like it would have higher to go as well. And uh, while we're here, let's look at my uh, Ethereum chart. Yeah. This is kind of a classic Wyckoff with our uh, proprietary indicators. Because uh, we had the selling climax on a big volume down to that uh, break to 1,074 automatic rally secondary test. Then over here, uh, 
what I was showing is the green arrow shows an oversold technometer. And then we had a nice two day rally. And then when we came back down for a 50% retracement of that two day rally, my volume indicator went to new lows. And that shows selling coming in, but somebody supporting it. So somebody supported Ethereum down there at that 1190 level. We gave a buy at 1189 in our Patreon Discord. I also shared that on email list. I shared that on Twitter, YouTube, et cetera. And then uh, as you can see here, still sitting around 47 on the technometer. I don't have a sell yet. I kind of mentioned yesterday, maybe a couple days higher to get an overbought technometer. I got the red here just showing that that's what I'm expecting is a overbought technometer. That would be a sell maybe up here, let's say 1475 or something. Then I'm anxious to see if we can get an ABC pullback and an oversold technometer, which I think then would be a green light that crypto is uh, headed much higher again. Yeah, you think that, you think there'd be like a little bit of profit taking and then off to the races then? I think that's, yeah, this could be a jump and then this would be a backup to the creek, jumping this resistance at 1340 and then backing up to it on low volume would be uh, would be a perfect setup. But otherwise, I'm going to take profits on this 1189 buy, maybe some time today, tomorrow, or this weekend, mm -hmm. or uh, or see how the pullback looks. And uh, let me throw one of these stocks at you that um, I just bought uh, on the back of a last uh, contributor is Okta, OKTA. Um, seems like there's been some uh, news out there, some rumors that, of a buyout, uh, and we're seeing a little bit of push here. Uh, are you seeing the same thing in your in the technometers? I mean, we've got. Uh, let me see here. Yeah. OKTA trading. OKTA, yeah. Uh, you know, you've seen my volume indicator. The OP has kind of been in lockstep. Yep. On the way down, so no real divergences there. Looks like we did get oversold here uh, around sixty five fifty. I would hate to see that 62.50 level giveaway. So uh, hasn't been real strong. I mean, did, then again, kind of did jump a little resistance at 61.50 backed up to it. So I'd want uh, I'd want that 62.40 low to hold from yesterday. Very nice. And this uh, your software here with Wyckoff SMI, it can go with anything, right? Crypto stocks, anything, yes. right? I've got I stock software, and I've also got the crypto software. I love it. I love it. Okay, it's learncrypto.io uh, and uh, Wyckoff SMI. So I'm looking forward to people seeing you and uh, learning how to trade uh, the Wyckoff method. I love it. Sounds good. Have a good weekend. All right, so I will see you next time, man. All right, thank you.